Meanwhile, negotiators from Taiwan and China signed a cross-strait service trade agreement in Shanghai on Friday. It will strengthen economic ties between the two sides, though opposition lawmakers worry it will leave many of Taiwan's industries vulnerable to Chinese competitors. The heads of the semi-official agencies representing Taiwan and China in negotiations, Straits Exchange Foundation Chairman Ling Zhongsan and Relations Across the Taiwan Straits Chairman Chen Deming, exchanged the text to mark the official signing of the Cross-Strait Service Trade Pact. <laughs> Under the agreement, China will open 80 service sectors to Taiwan, and Taiwan will open 64 sectors in return. The sectors include commerce, health, and telecommunications. China fully considered Taiwan's market size and made an offer higher than what was promised in the WTO, says Chen. For a single agreement, its range of industries and size exceeds any similar agreement China has ever signed. While the signing ceremony in Shanghai ended in huge applause, the news drew strong criticism from some groups in Taipei. Lawmakers from the DPP and the TSU jointly occupy the speaker's podium to express their anger. We are disrupting the legislative sessions to make citizens aware of the severe impact that the ECFA Service Trade Pact causes to Taiwan, says TSU convener Xu Zhongxin. The opposition parties are calling for a substantive legislative review to strike out what they deem to be unfair and unreasonable articles that are in the pact. <laughs>